Yo, yo, what's going on? I just saw a placard that someone posted that made some sense on the surface. It said something like this. I used to think that I was partially or extremely introverted because I really enjoyed being by myself. But what I realized was that I just liked being at peace with myself and my surroundings. And when I was around energy giving supportive people, I was an extrovert. I think, I think that's a person who's narcissistic, that's in to things mostly for themselves. See, I totally feel like I've always been an energy giver and it's about other people being energized and me planting the seed that they could go towards the best version of themselves. As my mom said in the neighborhood, I was rallying the kids to build the treehouse and in high school, even though I was average athletic ability, I was nominated team captain. In college, same thing, nominated team captain three times, sophomore, junior, senior year. Nominated team captain, semi-pro football team in Joliet. And now I'm leading people towards health and fitness and longevity. So if you are, stay open-minded, I don't want to offend anybody, but if you're into life for yourself more than other people, then I can see that perception. But if you're into life for others, I think you can bring value to a, a situation where somebody is not energy giving to you. I think we're all good people, but most people, it's not most, some to half are in a bad spot in their own mind. And, and th then there's another perception, an another perspective. Are people self-responsibility type person, athletic mindset, going to overcome no matter what, or are they a victim mindset? That's, that comes into this as well. I think, ah, I think a, hopefully a lot came out that makes sense. And if someone is more victimized mindset, can they mature and go towards realizing that and say, you know what, I'm going to make better decisions in the future and go more towards being self-responsible. The 10 most famous words in the world, not famous, the 10 most powerful words in the world are, the 10 most powerful two-letter words are, if it is to be, it is up to me. Yeah, food for thought, right? I love you. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life.